Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. So in this video, what we do is, we are going to learn about Frobenius method or method of Frobenius. And method of Frobenius will be used uh, if you have x equal to 0 as a regular singular point of the, um, what do you call, in type 1, regular singular point of the equation. I'll give you an example. I have an equation here, 3x y double dash plus 2 into y dash plus y is equal to 0. Now look at this. You have done many problems in power series, but you may not have seen a problem like this. So along with the highest order, the order is second order, we have 3x. Now if I divide throughout by this 3x, it is obvious that uh, 3x comes in the denominator and that means if I plug in x equal to 0 into the equation, we will get infinity. So x equal to 0 will be called a singular point. I'll give you another equation. x minus 1 into y double dash plus y equal to 0. So here it, you, you, you can do this problem by power series method, but you cannot do this problem by power series method. I'll tell you the reason in one minute. Here what happens is y double dash plus 1 by x minus 1 into y equal to 0. So the quantity which makes the denominator 0 is x is equal to 1. So here the singular point is x equal to 1. So it is okay. The problem starts when x equal to 0 becomes the singular point. So once more, I don't want you to get confused in the exam day. So once more, let me make it very clear power series method can be applied if x is equal to 0 does not create any trouble to the given equation and method of Frobenius should be applied when x equal to 0 is a troublemaker but troublemaker means it creates infinity and that is called singular point okay so let's try to solve this equation so 3x y double dash plus 2 y dash plus y equal to 0. So first of all you have to write clearly x equal to 0 is a singular point. Hence we cannot apply the usual power series method. So we go for method of Frobenius. And do you remember how do we assume the solution in power series method? Let it be a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus etc etc right? You assume the solution to be uh, a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus etc. In Frobenius we assume let the solution be x power r times a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus etc. So this is the different the, the character which creates that difference and this is going to make our life a little bit difficult in Frobenius. Anyway in summation format it will look like x power r sigma there is no difference in the summation part am x power m when this goes inside we will finally get the actual format of what we should differentiate m equal to 0 to infinity am x to the power m plus r so this is our uh, what you call solution now let me uh, tell you one very important thing Suppose you differentiate a0 plus a1x plus a2x squared plus etc. On each differentiation, the constant will become 0 and the next term will become a constant. So if you differentiate 2 times, this will become 0. If you differentiate 3 times, this will become 0, etc. But in Frobenius, did you notice the series looks like a0x power r plus a1x power r plus 1 plus a2x power r plus 2 plus etc. You can check it once more. So if you differentiate, this term is not going to vanish. If you differentiate two times also, this term is not going to vanish. It depends on the value of r. So generally, <clears throat> when we write the derivative, you should start from m equal to 0 to infinity itself. So we get am m plus r x to the power m plus r minus 1 and y double dash will be sigma m equal to 0 to infinity a m m plus r m plus r minus 1 into x to the power m plus r minus 2. So one very very important difference 
in frobenius our assumption will be x power r times the usual solution and because of that the derivatives will also start from the same counter not like not like power series method but now the common part we are going to plug in everything into the equation so i'm going to write since the solution will balance the equation etc etc we get so what is the equation 3xy double dash plus 2y dash plus y equal to 0 okay so when i plugged in i got sigma m equal to 0 to infinity 3 am m plus r m plus r minus 1 x to the power m plus r minus 1 i multiplied simplified after that i get this i'm skipping steps here please try the simple part by yourself i took 2 inside so am m plus r x to the power m plus r minus 1 plus sigma m equal to 0 to infinity am x to the power m plus r equal to 0 okay now on now you have to listen very carefully the first thing we do is uh, i'll do one thing i'll color the summations first one i'll use red second one i'll use green and the third one i'll use purple <laughs> So, I am going to equate the smallest powers of x. So, first of all, I define the smallest power of x. Smallest power of x means what will happen when you put the lowest possible value in the counter. The smallest possible value that you can plug in is m equal to 0. When you plug in m equal to 0, you can see that the power obtained is r minus 1. In the green summation, r minus 1. In the purple summation, it is r. So I can see, I can notice two things. The smallest power of x is r minus 1 and it is available in the first summation, second summation, not in the third summation. Okay, and now we will get one equation. And that equation is called indicial equation. So I'm going to put it in the first summation. 3 a naught r r minus 1 uh, plus 2 a naught into r plus, no, no, you should not put it here. There is no smallest power of, uh, what do you call, equal to 0. The right side will be 0. Now you take a naught common and you will get an equation. I got the equation 3 r square r equal to 0. I got two values for r. r equal to 0, r equal to 1 by 3. That is distinct values. And this is the easiest case in Frobenius. In Frobenius there are many many cases. I am going to do only one simple case for you. The roots are distinct. And if you know this you will be able to solve Bessel's equation. If you try to solve Bessel's equation, it is available in all the books and online. You will see that r will be n or r will be minus n. The indicial equation gave distinct roots. So note down the values of r. r is equal to 0, r equal to 1 by 3. Now what we do is the usual step. Equating coefficients of x to the power. You will be expecting that I will write x to the power k. No, it is k plus r. So, I look at the first summation, the power is m plus r plus, uh, sorry, minus 1. And I want that to become k plus r. So, this is another difference from power series method. So, r and r will be cancelled. I have to find m equal to k plus 1. In the second summation, the power is m plus r minus 1. And I want the power to become k plus r. That is, I should put m equal to k plus 1. In the third summation, the power is m plus r. I want it to become k plus r. So I should plug in m equal to k. So when you do this, uh, you're going to get... So in the first summation, I'll put k plus 1. So I get 3 a k plus 1. k plus 1 plus r into k plus r plus 2 a k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus r plus a k is equal to 0 
and as usual you form the reduction formula that is you write the bigger value in terms of the smaller one the whole divided by a plus r plus 1 3 into k plus r plus 2 uh, things are like really really different first what we do is we will put the values of the indices what are the values r equal to 0 r is equal to 1 by 3 so the reduction formula becomes a k plus 1 equal to minus a k the whole divided by you put r equal to 0 we get k plus 1 you put r equal to 0 we get 3 k plus 2 and you put 1 by 3 here so a k plus 1 is equal to minus a k the whole divided by k plus 1 by 3 plus 1 will be 4 by 3 and here we get k plus 1 plus 2 so okay that is a k plus 1 is equal to minus a k the whole divided by uh, this will become 3 k plus 4 divided by 3 that 3 comes common k plus 1 okay now look at this what we do is this is for r equal to 0 this is for r equal to 1 by 3 we will put k equal to 0 when you put k equal to 0 what do you get a1 equal to minus a0 by I simplified I got divided by 2 and when you put k equal to 1 a2 is equal to uh, I got a0 by 20 you can confirm it k equal to 2 I got the value a3 is equal to minus a0 by 420 sorry 480 and here I put k equal to 0 I got minus a0 by 4 4 a1 equal to and a2 i got a0 by 56 confirm the values i'm doing it a little bit fast so here i got a0 by 3360 i guess okay anyway now what we do is do you remember we wrote the solution as it was not like power series method there was an x power r outside so now we will write the solution here the first solution is x power r into a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus etc here the second solution is x power r into a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus etc so we get y1 equal to what is r 0 here so y1 equal to x to the power 0 you plug in the values and you will get a0 comes common 1 minus x by 2 plus x square by 20 minus x cube by 480 and here you get y2 is equal to x to the power 1 by 3 a0 comes common 1 minus x by 4 plus x square by 56 etc etc now we will write general solution is if you want you can use capital alphabets or yeah a into y1 plus b into y2 that's it you can plug in the values and that's it so there's a huge difference between power series method and frobenius and i did only one type here there are three four types in frobenius so i did one type where the indicial equation gives you two distinct answers okay so that's it i'll be back with other videos so till then my friends bye